What's up everybody? Welcome back. Sorry it's been so long. It's been kind of crazy at the shop. So today we're gonna get some work done to the to the Ford, the van, and uh we've got some fabrication stuff to do. I uh the clutch push rod and all the all the clutch linkages going to the transmission are just loose and worn out. I need to fix some stuff. So I've got some ideas to make it a little bit better. Um I've got a thing for heim joints and uh spherical bearings and those kinds of things, so I'm gonna do a little bit of work, try to make it nice and smooth. It was rubbing on the floor pan, making this god awful squeaking noise that nobody likes. So I'm gonna jump in there and, like usual, not leave it alone. I've always got to make it better. So um, I've got a brand new Mellings oil pump made here in the states. It's going on. Uh, that came in yesterday. So we'll get the pump on, get the oil pan on, set the engine back down on the mounts, bolt it up and uh, see where we can go from there and how far we can get done and uh, get some footage done. So, first things first. Let's get to it. Here's the clutch pedal. Just got a little bit of wear in the bushings. Looks worse in person than the camera. Anyways, I'm gonna take it off and see what happens. You guys can see that it's just a little wore out a clutch has been used a few times so I was gonna build it up and then uh, shave it back and uh, file it down and grind it down and make it look nice but I decided that uh, since that goes into a pivot point I've got some 5 16 rod and a heim joint everybody likes heim joints adjustable that's going to go on there reduce friction and just make things last longer I really like these things it's kind of it's strange, I get it. We all have our things, right? But anyways, I've got that. There's, I'll put some pictures in here of what the other stuff looks like and uh, before. Uh, what's cool though is being a leaking mess for the last 55 years, This the, the entire underside, with obviously exceptions to the body, the a lot of linkages and cables and other things have been caked in this, encrusted in a, a mummified grease crusty it's nasty but it's preserved all the metal once you scrape it off I mean this thing this is the original clutch push rod and it's it's quite clean it looks disgusting before I cleaned it um, I'm sure you've probably seen the footage of me cleaning that and uh, I'm real happy with it so it's a lot of cleaning but it's preserved so there is there are things underneath it there and uh, it's really bright outside so I apologize got the garage door open today's first day of spring 2021 Gonna have a good year. Hope you guys enjoy. I, uh, I'm excited to get more work done to the van because it's hard to do it in the shop on the floor when it's 25 degrees outside. Um, you guys know about all that. So I run a small shop here, um, or my personal business. And uh, so doing that amongst many other things is kind of insane, but I wouldn't have it any other way. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy the challenge. So we'll do some welding and some cutting and grinding and see what happens. Peace.
it is. Got that stainless steel bolt welded on there. It's 5 16 24 thread. <clears throat> uh, it's got a little lock nut on here. So, got that done. Now we gotta just fix the clutch pedal. I gotta learn how to talk to the camera. Damn. I'll get good at it eventually. So, there is the clutch pedal. As you can see, it's a little egg shaped. So, gonna drill that out, get that ready to accept a 5 16 uh, mile steel rod, solid rod, and cut it to size, drill a hole in it, and put the joint over it, and make sure everything's where it needs to be. So, one step closer. Here we go.